Oh no, this is not right. Oh yeah, that's no good. Oh, 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 I need to lie down. This is Gravity Rush Remastered, a PlayStation 4 re-release for a game that hardly anybody played because it was for the Vita, and even Joe Champagne Jam Merrick didn't buy one of those. Gravity Rush is one of those games that I always wanted to play, and I'm so glad it's got a second lease of life here. It looks gorgeous, with beautiful cel shaded characters and a world that reminds me of all those classic Euro-Japanese anime series, like Mysterious Cities of Gold or Ulysses 31. And in a world of safe bet shooters and blockbusters that all play exactly the same, it's nice that Gravity Rush has a unique hook to it. Even if that hook gives me the dry bulk. One tap of the trigger and... Oh, Oh god, here it is again! The world's upside down and I'm falling sideways, oh no! You do get used to it, eventually, but the central gravity shifting mechanic of this game is tricky to get the hang of. That's fine though, I like tricky mechanics. It's better than picking up the pad and knowing exactly what every button does before you've even pressed anything. And when it starts to feel natural, this game feels amazing. You've got this big, magical world to explore, with missions and collectibles dotted all over the place, but it's never a chore to get around because moving in this game is just so much fun. It's been a while since I've enjoyed myself this much in an open world game, just getting to every nook and cranny because I can and just wait until you unlock the gravity surfing. I spent ages cutting about town, surfing up walls, bashing into crowds, and just generally being a bit anti-social with my newfound powers. I've seen folks saying that the actual missions are a bit of a slog, but I'm pretty happy with them. It's fairly standard stuff. Fly here, fight these baddies, that sort of thing. The fighting is really simple. You're either mashing the kick button, or using gravity skills to dive in and rain death from above. There's not much to it, and I'm fine with that. It's a bit like Prince of Persia Sands of Time, you know, the good one. You've got a few simple cool looking moves and that's all you need. Gravity Rush then is one of those games that makes an impression. The characters are lovely, the art is beautiful, the soundtrack is full of magic and wonder, and the game itself is just unlike anything else right now. I'm so glad that I finally got a chance to play it, and I'm even more thankful that there's a sequel coming. Now, if you'll excuse me, that's me away!